Of course, Sinji John numbers. <laughs> yes. Sinji ain't here this time. But I'm looking but, at this again, <laughs> and I see not fits. one, but but a two we fits, two we fits on here with Louis Jesus and John Numbers. But Pokey Lame though, I'm actually pretty interested oh, yeah. to watch because this one is actually one of the few villagers I actually enjoy watching. Yeah, Pokey Lame got the sauce. Definitely one of the best to ever do it. Shouts to New York, representing the top six here at Dino Wi-Fi, the monthly number two. Oh, it's a yeah. button check. Yeah, oh, numbers, uh, cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah, Take numbers, this money uh, from the Matcharino and, and get yourself an updated internet service, please and thank you. So yes. <laughs> this, this matchup actually seems like a pain in the ass because if you look at it, ooh, everything that numbers would want to do, right? Everything want, like he wants to set up, chill back, kind of like hold his ground and force you to approach. Uh, what does Pokey Lane need to worry about? <laughs> you got slingshots, <laughs> you got bowling ball ledge, and you can grab that. Everything, yeah. about, <laughs> everything about what we were just talking about playing right in front of us. Yeah, Numbers got to play uh, Ikaruga over here as he dodges Poklam in, in the corner, <laughs> and he did not, you know, pass level one <laughs> as he's now struggling against this character down a stock. See yeah, what Numbers you know, can do about this. Hopefully not grab the ledge, though. Another villager, too. Oh, wow, that's actually really smart. Bounce the, the header right back off the, the slingshot. It, you you can take advantage of the fact that we fits want to use header so much more now with that that new shadow buff that they got oh, yeah. and pocket stops that that really hit all right cool number said 70 on the ledge <laughs> get away from there <laughs> that's a good setup from pokemon numbers manages to break through and get the grab here off stage and Ooh. Ooh, you didn't take? Oh, damn. So that's another thing stock. that's going to suck, too, because a majority of what Numbers wants to do, uh, he likes to reverse edge guards a lot. And Villager also has great reverse edge guards. So number, Numbers actually has to pay attention a lot more to potentially have the, the tech on his way back. Yeah, Numbers also has other characters they can go for the set. Three out of five. No need to worry about losing this game here. Has to get away from the setup again. They're, they're down by a lot, so I assume this is a throwaway game here. You, you can have those in a three or five set, essentially. Uh, this, your... this is a uh, this is John Numbers. No, numbers will play that clock. He sees five minutes still left. It's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. <laughs> that's, that's five minutes will be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Return to center to take oh. this back. <laughs> okay, dangerous game. Dangerous game. Ooh, you keep throwing that at him, thinking he's not gonna catch it. He's gonna catch it. And you know what? You know what? At least Pokey Lame's a team player. Like, he, ne he never actually keeps the ball to himself. Actually keeps <laughs> passing it right back. Like, look, I, I don't want to take the shot. You can have it back. It's kind of like dodgeball. You know, you grab the ball, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers loses game one. Poke Lamb with the lead. I'm just Successfully saying, like, three stalking numbers. That's a, that's a feat. That's a that's an achievement right there. That is a hard thing to say, and that's why I was saying, like, looking at this matchup, this is one of the few matchups where not only does it, like, not only is it a painful experience for Wii Fit, but in general, what numbers play style is really about is pulling you in, making you approach him, making you play kind of erratic to find the opening. There's nothing that villager cares about that style. <laughs> it's like I can <laughs> I can play mid range and shoot you. And I could also take all of your zoning and throw it right back at you. We, we, we didn't see a single time where Numbers actually was able to set up a good zoning game. Oh, no. Numbers was having a tough time off that ledge. Had to come back several times. Had to swerve here and there, too, because that mm -hmm. bowling ball was waiting for him right there, along with the tree and whatever else, like, Pokelam was ready to do to him if he caught him rolling. So, <laughs> Numbers... All right. Has to decide here on the stage. What I, I think it's more so what character does Numbers have that has a disjoint attached to him? Because I'm pretty sure like N Numbers has played what like me Sword Fighter in the past, right? Like what 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 does Numbers have at this point? Because I think you need to get a sword and you need <laughs> to play mid range and walk in like approach shield. You need to get Pokey Lame grounded because you need to get him to stop. He look <laughs> he looks so comfortable in that match. Oh, super. Numbers does have a sword character. They do have Mead Sword Fighter. I don't know how good of a sword character Mead Sword Fighter is, but Numbers can also dig deep and uh, pull out the, the rare brawl moment and pull out the Lucario if, he, if, he, if, he, if he's so daring to do so. <laughs> well, we'll see what Numbers plays here. Oh, there it is, Mead Sword Fighter. I'm, I'm godlike. I'm godlike. Four seasons. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking into it. It's like, all right, you know what? It's got to be a sword. It has to be. You need you need some type of disjointed play. And yeah, you still got ledge play with uh, tornadoes. I don't know exactly what move set numbers is using. Probably the multi hit up B, but like and the reflect. That's already a good. That's already a good start off right there. Multi hit down there that spikes too. It's a ridiculous move to have. 
Yeah, facts. In that RP, we do, we've already seen that. Uh, we've all right. Three revealed. The tornado's always used, and of course the chakra. Okay, so pretty standard set. This is like the one of the normal go tos. They just alter out whether they use counter or reflect basing off, like based off the matches. <laughs> yeah, reflect more helpful here, as they're able to fight back with the projectile war that they're going through right here. Numbers keeping it even right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I like Bookie Lamb's adjustments too, because he's just willing to throw hands immediately after. It's like, all right, fine. I, you want to reflect my stuff? I'm gonna stay right there with you. But these, both of them have like some pretty solid nair out of shield game to like slow down any type of shield pressure too. Numbers is trying to look for that multi-hit drop down that shield poke. You can see it right there. It's such a good option. <laughs> just nair wars right there. <laughs> if you're, hey, look, if you want to know if your characters are good in this game, check to see if they got a good nair. <laughs> That's a majority of the way through right there. Definitely need something to have that nair out of shield to combat with. A good nair out of shield. All right. What's he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna drop low. Stay, I, I like it. Challenge it. it, it there's not many routes that oh, Me Sword Fighter could take that are safe. They gotta either A, pull the trigger early and get caught by a slingshot, or B, navigate around you. You're stuck! You're stuck! Hold these oh, hands! No. Hold oh. these hands! All these <laughs> hands! <laughs> that was a lot. That was, <laughs> that's such a good setup. Ooh. Not sure if you got the triple or double turn up there, but that was a lot of damage built up on numbers. See what they can do about this situation as they're off stage dealing with tree plants, yep. all the setup. And we're we're just about to get a five. Cook. All right, never mind. That, that's, that's what I get. I was about <laughs> I was about to acknowledge. You know what? We, a single stock has not been lost yet. And yeah, no, you're oh, lucky you dead. got hit by that nair. You're so like po Pokey Lane is ready to run that fade every single two seconds. So he, he's lucky he realized uh, he didn't realize that he was actually stuck in the corner. He would have died. Oof. Gotta watch out if you accidentally save your opponent. <laughs> you yeah, you want to be up two stocks more than one. <laughs> I, I like the commitment though, you know, like Pokey Lane like really doesn't let you recover for free. You got plenty of recovery to do it. You get you take you take such a long distance to get back with that up B. The numbers is keeping it a little more evenish compared to mm -hmm. the last time. Like it, it was a wash last game, but this game is a little more of a of a fight. Yeah, I still like this. I, I still very much like this matchup right here compared to the Weave hit. Like, even if he happens to go down oh. like that, <laughs> I, I think he needs to. I'm a liar, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I, I said all this, this good stuff about numbers. I'm trying to ham numbers up here. He's just, he's just getting washed again. <laughs> it, it's just this matchup, man. This, uh, like, Pokey Lame style in this, in this character really is just counterproductive. It's just everything that he doesn't want to fight. Yeah, numbers having to readjust his playstyle over here to get. Oh, God. <laughs> 40 off a jab, really? <laughs> we take those. Pokemon <laughs> looking to run away with this right now. Who said Villager was a zoner? Like, this man is a brawler. He's a mix <laughs> staying, of right, really. staying right in his face. He's gotten so. Look, look, he, got, he keeps getting him at lead. You are so lucky. Imagine if he timed that, like, why right does he two framed you for that? Was, oh, man. Imagine. Like what? Like what? What does numbers do at this point, right? He, well, he dies. He dies. That's what he does. Yes, he <laughs> so dies. getting into this next game, trying to figure this out. At, at first, I like what he was doing. I like how he was kind of playing the out of shield game, trying to really like contest him, keep him grounded. That's what you need to do when you fight villager. It just didn't work in the long run. Like Poké Lame adjusted real fast. It's like, all right, I see that you're forcing me to stay grounded. So what am I do? I'm gonna box you right <laughs> back with all of these nares. Like <laughs> it, it was doing all. Excellent job of keeping him from getting that pressure. Oh yeah, there you go. A little bit of a nair war right there. It was it was a matter of just outboxing villager at that moment, and John wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> Damn it, John. He just... <laughs> where's where's my toad noise at? Oh, you're right. <laughs> now, mind you. Top, top six is in the money right now? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yes, while well, we're yes. waiting for uh, numbers to quickly reset his router because uh, things are a little looking a little bit Ooh. sus at the end there. Um, if you happen to be in chat right now and you were a contender and you got knocked out in top eight, then you're mad you didn't get money. You know what you could do? Use your Twitter following you got. Share the fact that if people share out to uh, Maturino and we get it to 330, it becomes payout for top eight. Yeah, so, so your boy made top eight today. Like They made it. Oh. You made top eight? We could push that money a little <laughs> bit further. It's free money it's that you can free. donate right now if you haven't yet. Sign do in. So. <laughs> Sign in with Let any accounts. It. You don't want to use your Let main account? Devin is showing you right Sign now. Sign in with your Facebook. They can hear me. Yep. Sign in with Yo, your Facebook. Bankai, Who cares? 
Bonkai, you want that money? Just go find um, that Travis Scott tweet that you got and just attach that right underneath it. There you go. Yeah. It's like, but yeah, like, like, like Travis Matt, Scott. Sponsor tweet stuff. <laughs> do that. <laughs> with, with donate to Matcharino. Do, do that Twitter thing where you put your ads underneath your, your popular yeah. tweets and watch all the people just coming. Like, only lands? Come on. It's easy. It's 50 cents. It's half a dollar. Yeah, then after that, you got to What are you sure doing? You, just link all those stupid, like, skincare things that I keep seeing on all of them. I started muting every single one of those. That's, that's self care. Also, do all these uh, these sponsor quests on the side. That's extra money. Add guys. twenty cents to just follow this Twitter account. What? Just so we'll do it. Like that's crazy. Mm -hmm. This one's this a little nuts. I don't know feet. about this one. Subscribe to this guy. If you got five bucks, like just sub. send it to us. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, every sub, every sub counts. It helps to get you in here, and we're we're close to a hundred viewers too. You guys need to make sure that you tweet these out to let people know what's going on. Uh, House of three thousand. Brought to you by Devin three thousand. House of 3000, the the, formerly the House of Palu, now the house that we fit built because we got two of them here in top eight. One of them might be going down because Pokelame is not having anything to do with it. <laughs> uh, but still, follow it every single bit. Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, all of it. Make sure you give oh. some support because every single little bit helps and counts towards uh, giving Devin and company something to be happy about at the end of the day. That's all we want. All right. So just just so you guys know, uh, the, mm. the the kind of stall we were going for is uh, John. I uh, had left just to go kind of reboot his net because mm -hmm. I was looking kind of sus. Yeah, so I kind of sussy, John. Man. I dropped sussy. it in here. I pointed it out. <laughs> so he should be coming back in. Numbers isn't out yet. We're just trying to get things situated so uh, those red numbers can turn into nice, beautiful green numbers that could eventually turn into green money that you get to put in your bank account. That's yep. if you can figure out this matchup because honestly, this is one of the first times I've seen numbers kind of get pressured this way. Like it's it's really hard to get numbers to play to the point where he actually can't set up a defensive wall. That's a really, really good thing to say that you've done. <laughs> and po Pokey Lame's character just plays in it, but also he's just playing really, really good right now. Yeah, numbers is one of our players that nearly gatekeeps like half of New York, so. <laughs> To yeah. see someone like like Pokeland come in and break through his defenses, make him struggle a little bit, make him a little, work a little hard for his wins. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, it's, it's that's a testament it's, it's really to some skill right there. I, he, he has shut down some of the best offense in the game, and he has also shut down some of the best defense in the game. So God, that's incredible. <laughs> Pokeland's awareness. Oh, good job. Nice punish right there. And not following up, just kind of waiting for maybe a tech chase. But his awareness to constantly get those jabs whenever he's got somebody up against the ledge is just netting him so much damage in the set. Got tree set up right here. Pokelam with the percentage lead. The bowling ball. Oh, man. It just stops it. It just stops whatever John plans to do whenever he releases his grip from Lady that ledge. recoveries, man. That, that bowling <laughs> ball eats up. If you got to go straight vertical, you're not going to have it a good time. Right? Even right there. <laughs> he didn't even get off the ledge the time. He's like, I don't know Whoa. this header coming. Good job, Wicked. Like, I like the fact he we, like, got off ledge and immediately mashed F tilt. Don't try to take that box. But you see what he tried to do afterwards as soon as he adjusted with the F tilt. Pokey Lame repositioned to cover a potential roll. Like, Pokey Lame's object coverage is really good right now. And the, you see Numbers is trying to reset. Numbers has to get some hits in. He has to find his gaps in. The gaps can usually be found on Villager when they use like that Lloyd Rocket. Mm -hmm. They're vulnerable when they use it. Oh my god. It's just recognizing the pattern on when they throw it out. Also, throwing these projectiles is not helping them. <laughs> it's to say it right now, like he's throwing them and he's just, cat he's just catching them. Like, Pokemon yeah, is just catching sucks. them every time. That's the majority of your win condition right there. Gone. You you're forced to box and it's not like Wii Fit has terrible ground game. It's just that ground game loses the slingshot. So... It, and also Lloyd pressure, so you, you have to deal with that, potentially pocketed items. And you see numbers, like, he's trying. He's trying really hard to switch it up. He's trying to go for more grabs now, and he, he's not going to give up Sun Salutations, but you still have to be careful. All right, Numbers has him in a good spot right here to take the stock right here. Oh, I there like that. Go. He, went, he forced him to go super deep. That was an excellent job by Numbers. Like, even though he wasn't able to connect, he <laughs> assisted in that, that SD by just making him have to navigate around all that pressure. Very good spot for numbers there. Looking to bring this back to a piece right now. Still feeding the header. Like, what would you rather like have villager absorb here, the header or the sun? Oh, I'd take the header every day. Like, oh. it's annoying, but all, like at at worst, all it does is just kind of like knock you back. 
but with sun salutation sun salutation is a is a a knowledge based tool you could use that to see how people react to jumps see if they decide to stay in shield too long or if they try to react off of something and pokelam's already i mean he, he's he's dealing with them all stage great but pokelam's literally just putting out lloyd on like reaction what? to every what? single sun salutation so numbers has got to use it as like a jump read and it's a better ko tool than like say hitting with header yeah true that true that set up again on the ledge numbers looking quite pressured down a stock here has the deep breathing, I think. Is this called? Yeah, deep breathing. To power himself up, but he has to go in with this, though. Let's take Ooh, advantage I like of this I like power it. up. Oh. And you see, like, Numbers is slowly figuring it out. He's starting to catch and that the largest sun salutation with the short hop, too, actually got over the startup because you can actually punish the very beginning of the startup of Lloyd Rocket before it gets out, before it becomes an actual hitbox. So he's got to adjust to that timing. You better be careful. Um, you know, that bullet ball is going to snap your neck if you keep playing off stage like that. I'll tell you, he just goes to the ledge and sees numbers out there. So he goes, all right, I'm just going to mash this bowling ball real quick. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> it's incredible. You better watch out. You better, you better watch out. <laughs> you can see, like, when Numbers starts playing like that, when he starts kind of just, like, looking for a reaction afterwards, that's when you're in trouble. Because now, no, not only is Numbers studied to get this game to a point where he can actually get a dub by maybe getting a throw here at the ledge or just a good trade, he's not initially doing something off the bat now. He's waiting for Pokelam's reaction first, and that's when you're in a bad spot because Numbers studying to download you is, is a real problem. I'm also noticing a lot of... Uh roll baits that Pokemon's going for. He's doing like random bowling balls like here it is in the chase. <laughs> so, that would have been a dead ass shield right there. Oh, and there's the rising up there. Look at this. Numbers down down at 60% too. Like Poke all of Pokelame's success before where he was kind of beating him out in short hops with all these slingshots are now disappearing. So Pokelame needs to play a boxing game now. He needs to get up, play around shield, force numbers to kind of respect him again. Or just catch him on a jump with the forward smash, but he ain't die yet. Oh numbers didn't die? I thought he just went to the top. Okay. Ooh, oh, my that's oh my god. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. Ah, no, you don't, you don't. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, it's over. The lucky turnips got him in the end, and Pokelam takes the set, advances to top three. I, you, Pokelam, well played. Like, Pokelam played so damn well throughout that set, but I cannot, I cannot express enough how lucky he is that he just took it out in this game because numbers was starting to figure it out. It was starting to slowly adjust. And yet, the Pokelame still could have probably won the whole set, but it was going to be a much harder fought victory after that because that was getting really, really stressful with every interaction as Numbers started to just kind of hold his ground instead. True that, true that. Numbers moves on to losers. Sorry, buddy. H3K. <laughs> Can't support you past that. So. True.